I'm Holly Resnick and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, hacking your car is suddenly a thing, LG gets their VR on, and Samsung may say sayonara to Japan's mobile phone market. As if crappy drivers, spendy insurance, and gridlock weren't bad enough, it now appears you need to worry about someone hacking your new tech-filled car. That's the gist of a report from Massachusetts Senator Ed Markey, who sponsored a study of 16 car makers and found only two were being proactive about protecting our increasingly connected cars from hackers. Markey said officials at some car makers didn't even know what he was talking about when asked about their car's vulnerabilities. One notable exception, Tesla, of course, who actually hired a hacker to build in defenses against hacking for their electric cars. When it comes to virtual reality, it seems like everybody is getting into the act. That includes Korean electronics giant LG, who announced a phone-based VR system today called the VR for G3. They partnered with Google on the effort, and the VR for G3 system is similar to Google's cardboard VR headset, but it's much more substantial. It's also similar to Samsung's phone-based Gear VR, so it looks like high-res phones may be the VR gateway drug going forward. Very cool. Speaking of Samsung, a report from news outlet Business Korea indicates the tech giant may exit the Japanese cell phone market. While Samsung's Galaxy S5 and other offerings are popular elsewhere, they're getting trounced by Apple, Sony, Fujitsu, and other brands in Japan, especially Apple. They're even behind Sharp in Japan. Does Sharp even make cell phones? Oh, well, I guess so. Anyway, this wouldn't be the first time Samsung has bailed on Japan. They stopped selling TVs there in 2007. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll be back tomorrow.